Thank you for joining Steve and I. We are in the city of Ventura. It's a bit of a gloomy autumn day, cool breezes. The ocean is not too far away from us, but right behind me is the Mission Basilica of Buena Ventura. It is the ninth mission of the 21 missions in California, the last to be founded by the original Father Juanipero Sierra. And I apologize for butchering his name, but stay with us and we'll see what's inside. Look who I found in here. Teddy, Charge, San Juan Hill. That's what he's famous for. He's a rough rider. He's a trivia. So that's the entrance right there. Hello, Hello ladies. <laughs> A card? Hi. Can we get two tickets for the, uh, the mission? How's your day going? It's going good, thank you. I had looked at their website. Does it also include the statue of the, I want to see the statue of the, um, the first Native American saint? Um, so you're talking about the founder, right? No, the, the Native American saint. Say Catherine, I believe her name is. I s okay. I looked at the website. They showed it, but... Maybe it might be on the school premises? Maybe, I think so. Mm. Is that still accessible? Yeah. Okay. You exit the museum door, church and garden, and then it's just exit back to the door. Okay. And you can still see the around it, but just not inside anywhere. Yes. Okay? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. When you think of a mission church, or any church really, you think of, well, the bowels. But here is something a little unique to this mission, is they actually had wooden bells they would have a metal lining to get some sound, but because of it's wooden, the bells, um, that the sound that they would make is a more muted. Reason being is, you would never think this, but out here in California in the 1800s, we actually had pirates that would um, come in up down the coast. And we'll talk about one particular famous pirate in a little while. Father Juanipero Sierra, born on the island of Mallorca in Spain in the 1700s, is a very controversial person currently in this environment of um, colonization, what it's done to the new world. Father Sierra helped establish the California missions the whole idea is that this property, this land, even though there was indigenous people here, was claimed by Spain. And yet you had at that time period in the 1700s, the English fleet coming up and down the North American Western coast. You had the Russians also coming down hunting for fur. If a country was gonna claim a land, you're gonna to have to colonize it. And this is what the whole purpose of the mission system was. Set up missions, educate, convert the local people, and set up ranches so that uh, new Spaniards can come up here 
and create settlements. And it changed the environment of what happened here. You're angelic. Am I angelic? Yes. Wings. I've been told I'm light on my feet. Maybe this is the reason why. A small chapel preceded the first church that was destroyed by fire in 1793. The second church was dedicated in 1809 and reconstructed in 1816 after an earthquake. The church is made of adobe with walls six feet thick at the base. The high altar originated in Mexico and was installed when the church was dedicated in 1809. The church had to be restored after it was modernized in 1893. Restoration was complete in 1957. The shrine of the crucifixion on the left side of the church contains a 400-year-old carving of Christ coming from the Philippine Islands. We have behind me Saint Kateri. She is the first Native American saint in the Roman Catholic Church. It's believed she was born maybe in 1860 on the East Coast. She is known as the Lily of the Mohawks. A sub-tribe, uh, the family clan, was the turtles, hence why there's so many turtles on the base of the statues bit much for my liking. It seems a uh, quite a lot, but it's nice to see that even here on the West Coast that uh, they're honoring our first Native American saint. San Buenaventura Mission, founded in 1782 at the request of the King of Spain, we are pretty close to the beach. It's really in sight. And one of the main reasons they were trying to settle this area is because the English fleet, looking for the Great Northwest Passage to Asia, was coming up here. There were no threat to the mission or to the settlers here. In fact, a few of the friars became good friends with Captain George Vancouver. And because of such, Vancouver was actually scouting and doing the maps for England. And he made some landmarks in honor of the friendships that he established right here. He made Point Vicente out of one of the friars. And you could see one of our videos right here of the lighthouse that we've seen there. And we also did a video on Point Furman the lighthouse, and see we'll attach one of our videos there. But all of this to say is that the interactions between Spain and England were actually quite friendly. In fact, so much so that Captain Vancouver gave one of his musical organs that he had in his cabin to Father Furman because he such admired it when he uh, was on the ship before. And Captain Vancouver, he actually did two voyages up and down. So, uh, you know, making connections and uh, building bridges. In 1818, the bow tower went silent. For one month, the mission, the fathers, the Native Americans, everyone was evacuated because off the coast was a pirate. In 1818, much of Latin America was revolting against Spain. Spain was under occupation of Napoleon. He, Napoleon put his brother on the throne. And as such, there was replications even down in the New World where many of the citizens here no longer wanted... Ah, here we go. You heard the bell, but actually, back in that time period in the 1810s, they used wooden bells with a, a metal lining in there. So it was more muffled at the time. The whole idea is not to attract the attention of any pirates that were offshore, especially at night, so they wouldn't be able to hear 
where the mission was at. I find it interesting because, well, one, because I'm from Southern California, but also to know that California itself does have a rich history. You just have to reach out and find it. And thank you for joining us. If you have enjoyed this episode and believe we've earned your subscription, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching.